One of the biggest things that I'm looking for is like taking what I went through and turning it around in something more positive where I can actually help others and make a difference in the world. I think that's the most important thing to me because it helps me too, knowing that I can help others with it. In January 2018, Jordan Turpin climbed out of a window at the home where she and her 12 siblings were being held captive and abused by their parents. The then 17-year-old called 911, which led to their rescue. While the four years since have not always been easy, Jordan is extremely proud of what she's been able to accomplish, including getting her high school diploma. Oh my gosh, it was just so cool being around people my age and like just seeing like, you know, how the real world is, you know, just like seeing how other people are and stuff. And I learned a lot from high school and stuff. And it was like some really, really cool experiences. And I'm really thankful that I got to have my senior year. I will go back to school. I'm not sure when, but I want to go back to, for school to study motivational speaking and English. Those are the things I want to major in. Jordan is also very excited about living on her own for the first time. It's really, really nice. Like in the beginning, there's a lot to learn and stuff. At first it was like unreal because it was like, this is everything I ever wanted to be free. I feel so much free, independent, and I can decorate my place however I want. And I'm very organized. I love like decorating things and getting creative and stuff. And I'm really, really happy that I have my own place right now. I've always been into fashion and I've always been into like makeup and stuff. It's something I used to do when I was younger and it's, I still actually have some of the drawings. I used to like draw certain designs of like fashion clothes. I wasn't as good of a drawer as I am right now, but I still have some of them. They might not look too good, but um, I used to, I actually was really into fashion and stuff, but also um, Makeup's just something I always love. I like do my makeup every day pretty much. And I think makeup is something that is like a hobby for me, something that's very relaxing. It's kind of like painting. It, it helps start your day. It's like a coping skill you do before going out. It's just like relaxing and stuff. And I love getting creative and trying new things. But the thing that makes me the most excited and something I look forward to every single day is when I get together with all my siblings and we just try new things. We're very like strong and we always try to stay positive and we're really all fast learners. I'm just really proud because, you know, it's been hard, you know, to like learn everything in such a short time and we all did really, really good and I'm just proud of all of my siblings and I for that. It's just amazing. In March, Jordan went to her very first concert, a Garth Brooks show in San Diego. Just a few days later, she was also able to see a singer that holds a very special place in her heart, Justin Bieber. So Justin is someone that I started learning a lot from watching him and I started just like seeing there was another world out there. He made me more curious about the world out there and he's just someone I always like looked up to. So they gave us our own studio role and they had like food and drinks there and I was eating and I like turn around and Haley came back, you know, to the studio and I saw her and I like, it was right when I like took like this big bite of my food and I was like, I like almost choked and I just was trying to like swallow this big chunk of food and then I was like so excited and so I was like emotional at the same time because I was just like in shock and I ran up and I hugged her and I didn't want to stop hugging her because she was just so sweet. And she was like, oh, it's a happy moment. You don't, like, like, you don't have to cry. And I was like, these are happy tears. Like, I'm so happy. And she was just so like precious and kind and sweet. You could just, she had like so like calm, sweet vibes and she was just so gentle. And you could see she was very happy to meet us and stuff and we were very happy to see her. And all of us was just so happy and it was like the greatest experience. And she was just so kind. And then when the concert start, I, I was like with my sister and that we were both crazy about Justin Bieber. We was like, it didn't even feel real, like at first. And 
we were both watching it. It was amazing. It was the greatest experience ever. And we like got emotional and then there were times we were like jumping up and down. Like we were super happy. It was one of the best days ever. It was like a dream come true. And the best part is all of us could be together and all of us got to experience that together. And it was just so nice of Haley and Justin to set this up for us. And we were just so thankful and super happy. And it was the greatest experience. One of Jordan's favorite creative outlets is TikTok. Over the past year, her fun dance videos have been quite a hit and gained her a following of more than 700,000 people on the social media platform. So it's funny, like, I actually, like, I heard about TikTok and stuff, but, like, I never really, like, did any, any of the dances, and I had came across Charlie D'Amelio's page, and I just loved her so much. She just seemed, like, so real, and she was, like, I love the way she did the dances and stuff and it took me a while to post but I was doing the dances and stuff and I just really grew to really like TikTok. I really liked watching her videos and doing it. It's so sweet. When I read the comments and everyone's always like telling me like how much they like they love seeing my videos and how much they like it makes their day when they see my videos and stuff and I love it like even when I reply to one of their comments they're like this made my day and stuff and it, it really encourages me to continue to post and continue to make videos because I want to help others like my role models has helped me like Charlie D'Amelio like I loved it like you know watching her videos and it made me happy and made my days and stuff and so like I really enjoying being able to do that for people too. The best thing that can happen to me is me seeing I made someone's day, like if someone approaches me and I see like a smile, me just knowing that like sometimes I get comments like I can kind of relate to this, like I'm, I'm very thankful and blessed that I can be there to help others and make a difference. I want anyone that could possibly like be in some situation. I want them to know that there is hope and like like there's a way out and I just want to like people that can relate and know that they're not alone. I think like like now in the last few months I feel like my life is about to actually start and it's exciting and stuff and this is not until way later down but like when I publish my book and I be a motivation speaker that's actually the thing I'm looking the most forward to because I have so much stuff I want to raise an awareness of and there's just so many things that I really think I can make a difference if I set my mind to it and I really just want to help others and that's my biggest goal but I know it's like kind of far <laughs> from right now. <laughs>